hello and welcome back to another video. I'm going to be showing you how to in download and install the proximity mod for Among Us. Subscribe if you're new to my channel and change your notifications thanks to all so you always know I upload. You will want to go to this link which I'll have in the description and basically what you're going to do is scroll down until you see where is it github releases under the development area so click on that and it'll take you to here and i will select the most recent version of it because the it's very likely that you're going to be watching this in the future where this one where it's 2.0.1 is not the most recent version anymore so just go to the most recent version and click on crew link setup and it'll, and it'll download uh, depending on the settings you have for your browser, it may ask you where you want to save it. I'm just going to save this directly under my videos to edit folder. And I'll save that. Give it time to download, obviously. And once it's done, open that up. It's going to quickly install itself. Oh, I probably should have mentioned this. This only works on PC. So sorry to any mobile players and also sorry to anyone that plays using the BlueStacks emulator. It does not work as far as I'm aware on, on BlueStacks. Now when you have it open like this, it will say waiting for Among Us and if you click on this open game, it will just open up on Steam. You open the game and I'll see you there. Okay, now that you're in the game, first what you should do is go to the settings and then change it from full screen to windowed mode. Now just bring the window open, it should be open on the bottom bar or you can press alt tab and select that window. Which right now, there's nothing, it just says a menu on it. Like if you have a second monitor, you can just put crew link over on there and look at that. Or just minimize not minimize, but shrink down the window for Among Us a bit. So like change the resolution from 1080p to say, I don't know, where is it? 720p. So it's more like this and you can just move the Among Us window to here. Just go to create game, just host, since it's automatically in private, you don't have to worry about it. Now, as you can see here, it's displaying my character with what I'm wearing, the color, and my name. I usually go by the name of Imposter and I'm in dark blue. It also displays the code of the game which you can quickly copy by just clicking on it and pressing Control c to copy it. Now since I'm the only one in the game it won't show anyone else. Like if you go here, I believe this is for the host of the game. So I, I may be wrong. But voice it, you can change the voice distance if the imposters can hear dead players or not, hear imposters and vans. Now, I find this setting fairly cool. Communication sabotage disables voice. Now, there can be times where people can't hear you or you can't hear other players. Like, say, if you can't hear three of the people in your lobby, it's more than likely an issue on your end. Hit the buttons Control R to refresh the program, like I'll do now. It'll just redo its thing. And I believe if someone joins the lobby without crew link, they'll appear as red and obviously you can't hear them. If you enjoyed this little tutorial on how to install the proximity chat mod for Among Us, hit that like button, subscribe if you happen to be new to my channel. Let me know if you want to see Among Us videos, which I could probably put together. Change notifications thanks to all, so you always know when I upload. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.